19-year-old Jose Mavacala steps up to the mic, ready to rap about life as one of Kinshasa's 20,000 homeless children. Lyrics written by those that visit this small studio feature sexual abuse, theft, run-ins with police and about one day leaving the street behind. The recording booth on the outskirts of the Congolese capital has become a safe place for teenagers. Jose says it's a chance to sing about his daily realities and dream big. It really makes me happy when I sing. It reminds me of one of our teachers who gives us drawing training. He always says to us, friends, when you're working here in different workshops, think about what you're going to be tomorrow. And that's how I feel when I sing, especially in the studio during recording. I see myself as Lil Wayne, the American rapper, and sometimes that encourages me and I tell myself, ah, life belongs to the brave. <laughs> The studio is part of a day refuge where homeless teenagers can also wash, eat and learn. Jose has been enjoying art, literacy and music here for three years. Classes also focus on lost opportunities. While progress has been made in boosting access to education in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the UN says over 7 million children are still missing out. Cedric Simbalanga is founder of the Mukil Mapush Cultural Centre. With music, first of all, young people, children, are able to talk about their daily lives, everything they experience on a daily basis, rape, trauma, aggression, sexual abuse. Young people are able to talk about this, to express everything they experience on the street. And that's already a powerful thing. And secondly, in the same music, they can give each other advice. The centre plans to release an album featuring their tracks, while continuing to inspire teenagers to look beyond the streets. As Jose says, break free from the criminal life, my friend. It's time to see what the future holds.